I hope your hangover isn't too bad, but here's your Dota news to help you get rid of it. Snaking leaves Dignitas, G League news, Dota Bros, a 2012 recap, and more. Your first pick for Dota 2 News, I'm What Is Hip. It's the first of the year, and this is your first around the fountain for 2013. Team Dignitas has dropped Avid Offlaner and Midlaner Snake King. According to the official statement, Snake King is still attending high school and having some serious study obligations were putting a damper into his training times. Looking forward to 2013, both the team and Snake King decided it's best for him to step down. As the team is currently participating in the defense and the Premier League playoffs, a suitable replacement is needed quickly. Former EG member and currently teamless Universe has been seen playing as a stand-in on the official defense matches. Though there's no official word, it's possible that Universe will be taking Snake King's place. With all that said, it's still unknown what this means for Snake King's future in competitive Dota. He might be back after finishing up his studies, only time will tell, but you can bet on us to give you the news when it arises. Just a few weeks ago, the Dota Bro rating system came online. The website offers a ladder system for teams to play in a competitive environment outside of the normal queue. According to the site, over 9,000 players, I swear that's the actual number, have already registered and the service now holds over 600 full teams. Well, now it's time for some serious competition. 16 teams at the top of the ladder will compete in a $2,000 tournament. Some of these teams are completely unknown, which is great news as we get to see some fresh blood hopefully entering the professional scene. With that said, there are several big names in the list, including the Russian L Pride, IC Cup, XX5, Imaginary Gaming, and a few others. The tournament is expected to take place on January 8th through 9th. The format is single elimination best of one, while the finals are a best of three. We wish all the teams and this new service the best of luck. G League still going strong as we enter 2013. Group A has finished and it was DK to finish at the bottom place and get eliminated. LGD International will proceed to the semifinals as LGD China and 4Love will compete in the round of six. In Group B, we've had three 2-0 matches so far, Tongfi beating MUFC VG Gaming, losing to MUFC IG and Tongfu VG Gaming is eliminated. We remind you that again, the matches will be continuing every day. The group stage will finish on the 2nd of January, and the finals are scheduled for January 6th. Well, it's been a rather productive year in Dota 2, and following the tradition of every other new show ever created, we thought it would be a good idea to go over what's been added to the game in 2012. Now, please remember that this isn't a complete list, and there's a metric crap ton of things that were added. To hit them all would probably make a show length of about 20 days. But here's some of the highlights. We've added 31 new heroes to the game, 35 if you count every Meepo, 5 major patches with 7 minor update patches, 2 holiday themed events, 6 new items, a single draft and reverse captains mode in private games, a profile page was added along with Steam avatars, the hero performance bar, a new dashboard including a new game HUD and customizable hero selector, and a little side note, who could forget the pages of complaints over the hero wheel? A new hero UI while spectating, along with the addition of a statistic drop-down menu, a replay highlights option, a Dota 2 store with cosmetics, announcers, hero theme wars, couriers, and pennants, a tournament page and tournament passes, team system, hero swap, an updated voice codec to CELT, multiple hero retextures, new item icons, an in-game chat wheel, the hero buyback indicator, and animated first kill, kill streak, and multi-kill notifications. There's also been a custom particle effect for Eye of Scotty. Now, why did I only mention Scotty? Because it's absolutely badass. I have to fight the urge to get it on every single hero. I have a dream of one day where Mask of Madness and Scotty become viable on every hero. Come on, Ice Frog, I know you want it. There's also been bot changes. So many bot changes. Bot changes every patch. As you can tell, 2012 has had a ton of additions, and 2013 is looking not to slow down with such things planned as a tutorial system with its own map, team theme wards, more heroes both new and imported, custom maps, a guide slash mentoring system, and hopefully much, much more. And if you didn't watch all of the Dota that you think you deserve, here are a few games to watch as a sort of highlight of 2012. EG vs Navi for the Star Series, that's casted by Purge and Gods, it's an older game back on April 2nd of 2012. 
IG vs Navi, game number two, the winner bracket semifinals of the international. Everyone knows this game, but uh, most people only know the one play in the middle, but that whole game is unbelievable. LGD versus DK, game number two, the G League group stage match. That's cast by Beyond the Summit. It's a pretty new game and it's really, really awesome. And for some bonus fun, Purge casts a pub, episode number 17. If you want to just relax and watch some really fun games, that's your ticket right there. The poll! Last week, I asked you, how goes the Grieveling? Well, 11% answered A, I love it, it's everything I could have wished for. B, it's nothing like Dire Tide, 22% of you said that. 43% said, I would play it, but it's horribly unbalanced and random, so I ignore it. And 22% says that you don't care about modes, only serious Dota for you. This week's question, what will happen for Dota 2 in 2013? A. Dota will be officially released sometime during the next 6 months. B. A million players by the end of the year. C. All heroes and modes from Dota 1 in the next couple of months. And D. What we all hope for, all of the above. That's it for me. Let me just say it's been a pleasure delivering the news for the past year. For more updates, please subscribe, and we'll be bringing you more content right on this channel. You can subscribe here or here, depending on where you're watching this video. And I'll see you next time. This was What Is Hip, and you are watching Around the Fountain.